Up, what up, that's them. Hit squad and welcome back, guys. Here's your boy Sean. And your girl, Mel. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome to SNM Squad. Oh, yeah. How are you guys feeling today? We hope you guys are absolutely amazing. Yes, guys, say if you're having a bad day, let's turn it around. Good energy, good content. All now, right. baby, today, yes. this title was really blowing me away. I know, right? me too. Because I see black rednecks. I never. <laughs> We, I'm just it's learning about, about this today. Ima can black, imagine a black redneck? Rednecks. Like, what's your definition of a redneck? My you definition was a redneck. redneck? I thought about? a redneck was a white person that the sun like like made their neck red. That's what I thought. Like my first. No, my first impression. I didn't know. When I hear redneck, I, didn't know. I thought all a my life a white person. I don't it know. meant. A white person that didn't like black people. When I heard the term redneck, wow. I always thought like a racist white person. It was a racist type thing. I never knew what the term redneck truly meant. You know, I just I mean, always <laughs> thought that it was racist white people like redneck. This is not something that they taught us in school like that. This yeah. is a redneck. You so that's learn, what I like, thought. You had to take, you know, and hear from different people. So, yeah. you know, just do your research. So today you learn. we got Thomas Sowell giving us the definition of rednecks. Black rednecks. Black rednecks. That's why I'm saying black I never knew a redneck redneck could be black. <laughs> I'm learning this stuff. It's crazy, right? All yes. my life I thought a redneck was a racist white person. Guys, go ahead and smash that like button, turn on all notifications. We wanna go ahead and dive into this video. Here we go. Knowledge is power, people. Good energy, good content. Knowledge is all power. Day. Here we go. Black Rednecks and White Liberals by Thomas Sowell. Wow. Over 30 books published. How important is this book to you? Probably, uh, it may be the most important because there are so many misconceptions about racial and ethnic issues. Yes. That uh, just straightening out the misconceptions is a major task in itself. Uh, I, don't e I don't reach any kind of policy conclusions in this book because, as I say, it's just a, it's a full-time job to get the facts straightened out. So I can write a column in a newspaper aimed at the general public, and there'll be extremely few misunderstandings of what I said. Uh, I can say the same things in a book that's aimed at intellectuals, and there'll be incredible twists and turning. Well, he seemed to say this further than mm. that. Uh, I remember one, one huge uh, review uh, trying to figure out the implications of ethnic America. Uh, and uh, what made it a farce was that the last chapter of the book is titled Implications. So you don't have to guess what the implications I drew. They're right there. But I strongly suspect the person who wrote the review never got that far. Black rednecks, who are they? These would be blacks who came out of the Southern culture and who, who carried that culture with them north into the, into the urban ghettos and into the ghettos of the South for that matter. Uh, and who have not moved out of that culture since. Over the, over the years, both blacks and whites have moved away from that culture. But in the poorest and worst of the ghetto areas, there are lots of people who have not. And these kinds, of, it's, a, it's a culture which, which didn't do whites any good, and it's certainly not doing blacks any good today. And the tragedy is that people regard this culture as somehow the authentic black culture, and therefore you're not to interfere with it. It's to be allowed to, and so they're cheering people on. It reminds me of a scene in the Blue Max where this general is encouraging this daredevil pilot to do all kinds of wild stunts, you see, knowing that the guy's going to kill himself if he keeps doing this, and therefore the general will be rid of a, uh, of a political problem. Uh, now, I don't think that the, the white liberals are, are doing this <coughs> deliberately, but I think the net results are the same. They are cheering blacks on and doing things that are absolutely self-destructive. What's the difference wow. between black and white, and white right now? Color. Wow. <laughs> same kind of people, same attitudes. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, uh, wow. And, and same kind of results. Uh, one of the things I point out in this book is that, you know, as late as the First World War, when uh, mental tests were given in the Army, there were whites from any number of southern states who scored lower on those tests than blacks from northern states. So that anyone who comes out of that culture is likely to score lower on mental tests, to do less well in intellectual areas, whether they're black or white. Among the, the, the middleman minorities, of which the Jews are the most prominent, uh, the hostility to these people in countries around the world is out of all proportion to that, to any other kind of group I can think of. Uh, in terms of the violence, uh, the, vi the number of, uh, of uh, black, the number of Chinese killed, let's say, in one year, 
uh, and by mob action exceeds all the blacks lynched in the entire history of the United States. And the number of Armenians killed in, uh, in Turkey you know, during the First World War is greater than that. And of course, the number of Jews slaughtered on a number of occasions in history, Good. even before the Holocaust, is greater than that. So that the question wow. is why this particular kind of people are the targets of so much uh, us venomous hatred. And I think wow. the answer is that um, they, not, they not only succeed, they succeed in a way which is a threat to the egos of other people. That is, no, 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 you can envy a Rockefeller, but he's no threat to your ego because you say, listen, anybody can be rich if he's born a Rockefeller. But the guy who c comes here, let's say from Vietnam or Korea and arrives here with little more than the clothes in his back and a few wor broken words of broken English, uh, and a decade later he has his own little business and you see his son a few years after that getting ready to go off to Harvard or MIT. You gotta ask yourself, you either gotta, you know, you, 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 you've gotta hate yourself for saying, my God, I've, I've been stagnating, this guy was nothing and now he's risen up, or you're gonna have to hate him. And most people, when they have a choice between hating others and hating themselves, they hate others. Wow! Where does the hate come from in history? This is so deep. So that's uh, where the hater culture comes that's from. That's the hating. Seeing people hating? come up from nothing. It's okay yeah, to watch hard. somebody who's already had it in the bloodline. But when you see someone come from nothing, yep. started from the bottom, now we're here. There's a deep jealousy in there. And so you have the choice to either hate yourself for not being able to do that Absolutely. or hate them. So, of course, you're going you to make that them. choice to hate others. Wow. This is deep. That's, that's just like a deep-rooted jealousy, hatred. like. And this know, is a culture. How did you do that? Why I can't do that? Yes, this is you know a saying? culture. It's a culture. And the way he just broke it down, it makes perfectly sense. Wow. Yes. It makes sense. Here we go number of places, but um, they are people who, 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 have met, who have succeeded an awful lot in the midst of other people who have not. Uh, years ago, one uh, official of one of the Jewish organizations in New York asked me, well, what can Jews themselves do uh, in order to minimize the hostility they face? And I gave him a one-word answer, fail. Because as long as you succeed, you're going to be hated. Mm. Slavery was much bigger wow. than wow. more people than people have realized. It was not confined by race. It was not defined by race or created by race. It existed for thousands of years. Uh, a history professor uh, had a student come up to him and ask him, uh, well, when, when did slavery begin? And he said, you're asking the wrong question. The question is, when did freedom begin? Because slavery existed as long as we have any records. And, and, and from archeological finds, we wow. realize that people were enslaving other people before they could read and write. So it, that's always existed, and it's existed all over the world. The number of white people enslaved by pirates in North Africa was greater than the number of Africans brought to the United States. Whoa! Uh, that's not, that's not, that, 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 that's not e even mentioned in, my, in most of the discussion. So I tried to look Never at it as a world. Whoa, world. Nelly. Uh, and it's something that's lasted for thousands of years. I also tried to ask the question, why did it end? It ended here because of a civil war. But it didn't end anywhere else because of that. Uh, it, it took over 100 years to, to, to root it out. And again, the literature, there's tons, you can find the sh shelves groaning with books about the United States, the Western Hemisphere, and Africans, but vir virtually nothing about the rest of it. This book about the uh, Europeans enslaved by North African pirates came out in 2003. By 2004, you couldn't find a copy. It had, for all practical purposes, gone out of print. Wow. There was just no interest in it. Racism in the United States grew out of slavery, but slavery didn't grow out of racism. The wow. Europeans enslaved other s Europeans for centuries before the first African was ever brought to the Western Hemisphere. That wherever there were people that were vulnerable for whatever reason, those were the people that were preyed upon. Even though in mo for, for most Even of history, now. the now, those who enslaved and those who uh, uh, were slaves were the same race. In your opinion, what has to be done in the black schools or in, among black students in order to bring them up? One, you get rid of the things that are dragging them down. You stop saying that speaking black English, you know, is just as valid and all that kind of stuff. It may be just as valid to linguists and so forth, but the fact is if you talk that way, you're not likely to get into med school, you're not likely to do very much in your life. Mm -hmm. If you were still living 50 years from now, what would you predict the, the black race in this country would be? 
Oh, wow. wow. I mean, based on trends that you've seen in, in the last 20, 50 years. It, it could go either way. If the current trends continue, it's going to be a disaster. Uh, but there's evidence that the current trends are not unchallenged. Uh, people from time to time ask me to, to, to mention some black conservative writers. And I tell them, you know, 30 years ago, I could have told you uh, Walter Williams and me. Uh, and today, I can't even keep track of them all. They're all over the place. They're in the media. They have their own uh, shows. They write columns. They write books. And I learn about them, you know, from nowhere they suddenly appear. So there is this uh, counter trend going on. And everything depends upon which wins out in the end. This is deep. It's so deep, man, because this guy wow. got so much knowledge and so much wisdom. Um, it's like, wow. That right there, I learned so Ooh. much. So <laughs> In the short time. so long ago. Oh my goodness. It just seemed like, you know. It didn't start with black people. You know, like he said, there was Europeans enslaving Europeans. Man. It's basically when you can prey on the weaker. Right. You know, it's the vulnerable yep. people who are slaves. Yes, you go after the most vulnerable. Wow. And we have slavery today. It's like a mental slavery. Yeah. People are slavery. very, they, they're stuck. Yep. They they're don't have an answer. Mentally. But and it and it doesn't it it doesn't have anything to do with color, you know, race. Yeah, it doesn't have anything to do with it race. It does not. And I thought that that was a big deal because I thought only black people were slaves for wow. a long time. So the redneck culture is a basically a poor southern culture. southern culture that you know they brought it up into the north. You know, like. It's just a. It's a poor Southern yeah. culture. Yep. It's, it's just doesn't it matter south. if you're black. Doesn't matter if you're white. Gray neck, black neck. Wow. That's just what it is. You're just a part the of it. Race is. It has nothing to do with race. Wow. Um, it's everything to do with the culture. I just love how you live. Learning this knowledge, man. I want this to soak in. Wow. Because I was just so confused in 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 school. Thomas Sowell is, Thomas is, is highly it up. educated. He's an amazing teacher. Yes, he is. Oh, my goodness. Such such an intellectual. And I just love learning he's, from he's him. Just I love his knowledge. <laughs> I love picking saying? his brain. Yeah. Wow. And I think it's. Uh, I wish we could pick his a brain. A lot of truth to what he said. I love watching others pick his brain, basically. Yeah. I wish we could yeah. sit with him and, you yes. know, have a discussion about. You know, and when you mentioned about learned. the pirates, you know, what I'm saying they had more slaves than a, you know the Africans. Wow! Um, like all can of this you stuff, imagine? Like, it started they so long ago. They enslaved more. The North Africans enslaved more people. Were they North Africans or West? No, the North Africans. The, yeah, yeah. Enslaved more than the you know the sla the North American slave right. trade. I mean, it's, it's... And they they have thrown all the books away because no one wants to learn. People love to stay... They want to be ignorant, you know? But you know what? It just seems like... Ignorance is a culture. Everyone had their little taste of slavery. So Most let's definitely. just put that out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So people just can't keep using... I think that we were probably the last slaves to be free. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's probably why that, you know... But at the end of the day, slavery is over. It's over. It's over here in the United it's States. Over. You Most know, definitely. It's, it's over here. You know, so we don't have to worry about that. Yes. But it's just always good to learn um, yes. about the United States history. It's always wow. good to learn. It's so world it's history. Good. And world it's history. amazing. And yeah. we're all a part of it. Yep. And, you know, we have to learn and change our mindsets in order to be free. Yes. You know? Yes. Because, you know what? One thing I do realize it's a lot of love and love is free yeah and all we gotta do is just spread the love most you know what definitely. i'm saying replace that with love anything yes. let's replace it with love most definitely that hate he was talking about hate yes you know what i'm saying when someone sees somebody you know climbing a ladder and they see them up there they just want to pull them down and they want to hate and basically that hate really comes from self self-hatred mm-hmm Self-hatred yep. is the biggest form of hate. 
And it's like yep. you can't take it out on yourself. yourself so most likely enemy. you're going to spew it out on others. On others. You're going to hate others. Pretty good because life. you can't. Well, you can, but mentally you feel like you can't. You're not good enough to, you know, do what they did to build yep. their selves up. To come over here from another place with nothing. With nothing. Build their selves up. Now their kids are going off to colleges and, yep. you know, and they have a family business. College. You know, it's, it's like crazy. they're easy to <clears throat> pinpoint and hate. Yeah. So, wow. 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 That's this deep. This is a lot of knowledge. That's deep. And, you know, we just so thirsty for this knowledge. Yes. Definitely appreciate this video. Most definitely. It definitely opened up, you know, a light to just know you know certain things about our history yeah it's wonderful man it's wonderful yes all right so guys go ahead and smash that like button give this video a big fat thumbs up and also get inside the comment section we appreciate you guys watching yeah. with us most definitely we, had a blast. we appreciate the love guys yes have an amazing day on purpose snm we love y'all peace, peace.